Hello all you wonderful creative people, welcome to Blender Quick Tips. Now some of you might have run into an issue where when you're trying to play back your animation it plays back incredibly slowly. Sometimes it's because your character rig is very very heavy, sometimes it's because your scene is very heavy, but for whatever reason when you press play your animation doesn't play back at real time. So I've put together this scene as an example. As you can see, when I press play over here, it plays back at a fairly reasonable speed, playing at 25 frames per second. And if you look at the top here, you can see what the refresh rate is, and it's higher than 25 frames a second, which means it's playing at real time. Now, if I were to make a few changes to this scene that will make it a little bit too heavy, if we press play now, you'll see that it's playing back incredibly slowly. And if we look at the top here, the writing is now red, which means it's not playing back at real time. And it's only playing back at three comma something frames per second. So we're not really getting a good idea of the speed that this is meant to be playing back as. So let's just stop the animation. One way we can try to speed things up in some scenarios is to try to look at it in the viewport shading or in wireframe. But even in this case, it plays back incredibly slow because you can see how dense the mesh is. So let's just go back to Eevee. So in order to preview it at the correct frame rate, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go here to where the dimensions are in our render settings and change it to 50%. This won't really speed things up, but it will make the file size a little bit smaller. We'll then go over here at the top where it says view, scroll down, and click on Viewport Render Animation, which will open up this window and you'll see it starting to count down as well as go along our timeline. This will take a few moments and when it's done, we'll be able to preview it. Okay, now that the render is done, all that we need to do is click on Render at the top here go down to view animation. And now it'll play back the animation in real time. So you can see how it was meant to be seen. You're even able to scrub through the animation quite easily just by clicking and dragging. You can then press spacebar to play the animation and press spacebar to stop the animation. But as you can see, over here we can see the light objects, including the grid over here at the bottom. And the reason being is because it's generating the render from our viewport through our camera. So what we can do is just go up to the top here and click on this button to turn off everything. So now when we render it, so it almost looks like a final render inside of Eevee. It's not as good as actually rendering inside of Eevee. It's a really nice way to show your client or your boss a really quick and simple render without having to send the final render and wait for it to actually finish rendering. You can send them just a preview, and if they're happy with the animation, then you can render out your final. You can also send them a still image of your final render so they can get a better idea of how it's meant to look. But sometimes doing a viewport render, especially with Eevee, might actually get you most of the way there. So as you can see, this is an incredibly useful and time-saving tool that a lot of people don't seem to utilize. So if you found this video useful, consider liking the video and maybe even subscribing. And if you want access to this project file, just become a patron and you'll gain access to all of my project files. If you still want to show support but don't want to become a patron, consider sending me some crypto or just donating money to my PayPal. So thank you for watching and stay creative. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization. Every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, every saint and sinner in the history of our species.